Hello, my name is Rachel, and when you see this video, I'll be on the Gothic cruise. But I just did one, I wanted to put together a little lookbook of these swimsuits that I'm most likely taking with me. Some of these may or may not make the cut, as I discussed in my last uh, video with the um, dresses that I was taking. I haven't weighed my suitcase yet, so I don't know what all I'm going to be able to fit in there and what I'm going to have to sacrifice. <laughs> but I'm starting out with this swim outfit. I love this little long cover up. I believe I did get it on Shein a few years back and it's just got like little adjustable straps and little bows and cold shoulder and big sleeves and it goes down to just above my ankle. So not quite fully full length there. And then this hat is amazing. I did get this hat on, I believe Temu. Um, what, what, what's so special about it is it has the ribbon under the neck because it gets really windy on the deck of a ship. <laughs> sometimes and my hats always just fly right off so I was so happy when I found one with a bow that I can secure <laughs> I, actually it's I, I did a, um, a market at Fallout which is our local uh, alternative goth club here in Richmond Virginia and I, I was selling my chain mail and clo uh, some secondhand clothing and some sh other stuff but anyway they, they, every now and then they do these markets anyway this woman had this most amazing hat it was big and bat wing shaped along the edges. I came this close to buying it, but it didn't have a strap, so I knew it was going to blow right off my head because it was huge. <laughs> and it had uh, to keep the shape. It had uh, metal in the uh, brim, and so I didn't think I'd be able to bend it or fold it up to put it in my suitcase. But this one is awesome because it folds up to a small little bundle and it packs great. And then, of course, has the strap. And then my sunglasses. The hat off here. I'm wearing uh, the bat sunglasses, which I absolutely love. Little bat wing shaped sunglasses, which were also from Temu. And then take the dress off. <laughs> Tag's still attached. Still attached. Uh, I'll remove them when I actually decide to wear it. I'm really weird about that. I tend not to remove the tags until I actually decide to wear it. <laughs> but this is a Killstar bikini with a fishnet. And, you know, you can see. <laughs> now, to be honest, I'm not sure I'll be brave enough to actually wear this one on the ship. I tend not to do a lot of two pieces unless there's a skirt involved because I like to cover more of my bottom, and this is a particularly high cut bottom, so I'm not sure I'm gonna be comfortable in it, but I might also take it and then wait until I've had a few drinks because, you know, liquid courage. <laughs> so that's swimsuit number one, let's move on. Next, I have this sheer pink with black velvet bat um, burnout <laughs> uh, dress thingy for cover up, another, another swimsuit cover up. I also have my that beach towel. And of course, you know, my bat sunglasses and the hat. The sunglasses and the hat will be a staple for every day. <laughs> but the swimsuit, get the, get the cover up off. So I have this swim skirt, and I have two different tops to wear with the swim skirt, but this is more what I'm, I'm going to do, a two-piece. This is more how I would like to do it, something that covers a little more. But I have this uh, old, yeah, I don't know if you can tell from there, but the black velvet bats on this have actually bleached out from all the, the chlorine in the pools. So they're kind of like a coppery color now, which is actually kind of pretty. It's kind of a neat little look. But And then I have just this little swim skirt. To pair with it. And then let me show you the next top that does go with the skirt. I have another little cover up. This is a black mesh with black velvet bats on it in a little baby doll style. And then the other swimsuit top that goes with my swim skirt. This one, again, might go into the I'll have to wait now I've had a few drinks section of my swimsuit <laughs> collection. Also, I'm, I mean, I, I know I'm overweight to begin with, but I'm a little bit bloated right now because it's that time of the month. But that's awesome because it means it's going to end before I get on the ship. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> but this top is so cute. It's uh, old, uh, I want to say Rose Gal. One of those dressily Rose Gal swim tops. The, uh, the, the bat one was too. I think I said that. But. And just so you can see how cute this is. I love the print on this. I love the little lattice work. So cute. Let's move on. <laughs> So this swimsuit, I, instead of a full cover up, I'm doing just a skirt cover up. And again, this is probably from Chien or Romwe, but it's that same sort of similar pattern to the Haunted Garden Killstar pattern. But this is just a long sheer skirt. It does have a little slit up to about the knee, and it does have a little bit of a lining down to about here. And then the swimsuit. Is this cute little like sheer sleeve? It has long sheer sleeves, which is really good to help with the sun. <laughs> Not getting as much sunburn. It's got a cute little cutout here in the center. Solid back and two little O-rings here. So uh, another cute swimsuit does show a bit more midriff than I'm comfortable with, but <laughs> I'm always trying. I'm always trying to be more comfortable in my own skin. Let's move on. <laughs> So this swimsuit I absolutely love. I feel like I'm a James Bond villain whenever I wear it. I'll show you here the full thing in a minute. It's got like shorts and buckles everywhere. But I am pairing that with this little bat wing edged sheer skirt from Necessary Evil. Get more of those buckles. <laughs> And then here is the actual swimsuit. See, it's got these fun buckles on the side and then these cutouts here in the center, this high neckline with a zipper. And this one is also from Temu and we only have one more to try. Let's finish this up. Show you my other beach towel. This is awesome. This is a succubus painting by Stephen Archer of Stoneburner and Ego Likeness. I have a ton of his art, which is all packed up right now and uh, sitting in boxes at Brian's. <laughs> but I did buy this towel one year from him and I think it's amazing. So those will be my two beach towels. You know, you need to have one, you know, you can leave drying in the room and one, that, a fresh one. <laughs> and then I have this little velvet, uh, what's that called? Kimono. And this will be great. I could wear this with any of the dresses if I needed that little extra warmth on those cool nights. Or also great for a swimsuit cover up and the swimsuit here. My final swimsuit. I always feel this has like piratey vibes. <laughs> but this is for towards the end of the week after drinking nonstop <laughs> and eating all that salty food because they add so much salt to their food. You swell. I swear one, one year, my ankles and feet. I couldn't wear my shoes. I could only wear my sandals because my ankles and feet swelled so much. It's only happened to me that one year. I'm not sure what was different. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, I might be feeling a little self-conscious by the end of the week oh, with all that food and alcohol baby going on. <laughs> so this is the, you know, when I'm feeling less confident swimsuit, if you will. <laughs> So those are all the swimsuits I do plan on taking on the Gothic Cruise. Um, I will attempt, of course, one of my terrible vlogs. So you will see, get to see some of some of it. But uh, you may not see everything that I've shown you because even if I pack it, doesn't mean I will be in the mood to wear it. <laughs> I completely forgot to show you the sandals I'm going to take. Uh, as I mentioned in the, the other video with the dresses, since I have the weight limit on luggage, I'm only taking two pair of shoes, one pair of sandals, and the shoes I'll be wearing all the time. But these are the sandals. <laughs> I love these. They are a like purple blue, like duochrome. <laughs> so these are what I'm going to be wearing every time I'm in a swimsuit. So I just wanted to throw that in here because I realized after I finished filming, I'd forgotten. <laughs> but let me know what you think about all of the, uh, these swimsuits down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, of course, you give me a thumbs down. Please tell me all about it also in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel. I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye!